cocaine and heroin. Found it. It was in the center console. Coke and meth. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, damn. Is the white powder in this methamphetamine? Bingo! Crack cocaine. Hard drugs. The car's actually pretty clean except for the cocaine. Soft charges. So guess what? You're going to get a city ordinance ticket for it and you go home tonight, all right? What's that, though? City ordinance? Just the disorderly conduct violation? So do I have to go to court for that? You can, or you can pay it out. Cocaine possession is a felony in Georgia. For both gang members, so I'm going to pat them down. But in Sandy Springs, it's not even a misdemeanor. You don't get a state charge. All right. You just go through the city of Sandy Springs, and that's it. We have a city ordinance violation for drugs. That's all, right. all you're getting cited for. It's like the easiest way instead of taking you for a felony possession, which this would be a felony possession, okay? I'm giving you a warning for the window tint. You're not going to take it for that, just for the, the cocaine. Take it easy. Why does Sandy Springs charge suspects with disorderly conduct when they could be charged with state drug charges? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, if we do that, they end up going downtown and nothing ever happens. They oftentimes beat our police officers back out on the street faster than our police officers can get through with the paperwork and back back to headquarters. We just found that they never get prosecuted within the Fulton County system because it's overwhelmed. Has Paul Howard had anything to say on this? I, I haven't talked to him about it. We did. They did it because they thought that our system was simply too slow. Are they right? I believe that the system is too slow. I believe that our current Fulton County criminal justice system is in great need of overhaul. Turn around, turn around. Well, what I do? Turn around. He was, he was back here smoking crack. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Puffing it up. Yeah, still smoking. That is messed up, man. You're wearing a Captain America hat smoking crack. Officers transferring into Sandy Springs learn quickly. So what are you hitting them with? Schedule, what, two? Cocaine is two, yeah. Dangerous drugs. How much crack is it? Two little stones. DC. More time at the city. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? really? That county's just going to throw them right out. Oh, absolutely. He'll be... Really? Yeah. Smoking crack at the same it's, spot in get, three days. So three days. D.C., D.C. If you do D.C. City, you will be gone for at least six months. Some of the officers believe that maybe their cases were not being prosecuted. Well, our data shows that we are, in fact, indicting or in the process of indicting 98% of those cases. Does Sandy Springs have a drug problem? America has a drug problem that happens to be manifested in communities like Sandy Springs, like Atlanta. But this is how Atlanta handles the same cases in the same county. I got some heroin over here. A defendant out on bond for this felony heroin arrest in Atlanta. You got any idea with you? Was caught with meth in Sandy Springs. Just relax. Where he was charged only with city disorderly conduct. Keep your hands out of your pocket. The same low-level citation. Is there any in there? Yep. For this man arrested with cocaine in Sandy Springs. But he was a dealer out on bond for multiple felony indictments in Fulton County. While well, he later pleaded guilty to trafficking drugs on the dark web from his Roswell apartment and was sentenced to 10 years in prison, his Sandy Springs cocaine arrest resulted in six months probation and a $500 fine. No one told the Fulton trial judge in his pending felony drug case. Some of these guys were awaiting prosecution by your office. Some of them were on probation for prosecutions from your office when they were arrested in Sandy Springs. But it's as though those things happened on two different planets. That's really a problem. It doesn't go against your record. It stays off your record. None of the cases we're showing you will end up on the defendant's criminal record because these city drug charges are considered less than a speeding ticket under Georgia law. And again, it's a city ordinance violation. It doesn't go on your record or anything like that. I'm gonna take you to jail for the disorderly conduct. The city ordinance, not the felony. Even these cases involving guns and drugs. What are you reaching for? Stop reaching! Look underneath that seat. Oh, here we go. I knew he was reaching for something. Oh, this is a felony. Having a gun in the commission of a crime is another felony. The problem is if we do that, we're going to be here f***ing till 8 o'clock tomorrow. It's going to make our paperwork a little bit easier, but it's also going to make your life a whole lot easier. Is it advertising to these drug dealers and drug users, come to Sandy Springs and you won't get a felony record? It's just the opposite. You come to Sandy Springs, you're not going to get sit downtown and sit back out on the street. If it's justified, you're going to jail. 
at the jail, officers from other departments seem shocked when Sandy Springs officers book suspects with minor tickets for major drugs. Our city charges are more... Uh, that's insane. Yeah, but that's crazy, right? Yeah. The police department has been very frustrated with how these cases have been handled by the county DA. And, and I'm not going to be necessarily critical of Mr. Howard. He's got more cases than, than he can deal with down there. Crack cocaine transaction. This is not Fulton County Drug Court. To the charge of disorderly conduct. It's Sandy Springs Municipal Court, where defendants face mandatory drug treatment, probation, and fines in days or weeks, not months or years. There's a fine because of the hard drugs involved. If you arrest them on felony drug possession charges, they go downtown, but the fines go downtown too, right? Our balance sheet's pretty healthy. This is not about revenue, it's about people. Possessing illegal drugs is illegal, believe it or not, it's crazy, right? Fulton County District Attorney Paul Howard broke some news in our interview. He says he's going to ask the Georgia General Assembly to enact legislation reforming the Superior Court system to speed it up. Right now, it can take a year or more just to get an indictment on a felony arrest. I guess the question here is, does Sandy Springs actually turn a profit on a municipal court? Faith, they do turn a profit, a million dollars a year profit. But that's just 1% of the city budget, and disorderly conduct cases are a fraction of that. However, our analysis of more than 700 disorderly conduct cases shows 64% of them in Sandy Springs are actually drug cases in disguise, and residents have no way of knowing. Thank you.